Henry Keogh has defended his $2.5 million taxpayer payout over his wrongful murder conviction. He's told a parliamentary inquiry he is owed the money, but says it doesn't make up for the two decades of his life he lost behind bars. Tom Angley reports. Henry Keogh came here voluntarily to answer questions on his payout and he opened with a scathing assessment of the system he says let him down. Mr Keogh lashing out at his critics over the two and a half million dollars he received from the state government in July after his conviction for Anna Jane Cheney's murder was overturned. You've called this inquiry to ask why I was given an extra payment. I ask why not? Mr Keogh telling the parliamentary inquiry his 20-year jail term was a monumental failure on the state. I believe that I am owed a debt for this nightmare. Can you even begin to imagine what imprisonment for that period of time was like? More than 7,000 sunrises and sunsets that I never saw. Police charged the 63-year-old, who remains a suspect in Miss Cheney's death, after her body was found drowned in a bathtub at the couple's McGill home in 1994. But he was freed four years ago, with a court finding his conviction was based on flawed forensic evidence. The payout still not enough for Mr Keogh, who wanted $6 million in compensation. The amount of the payment does not go anywhere near making up for what I lost. Ms Cheney's lawyer outraged he was handed a cent. The family were shocked and appalled that this government saw fit to pay any money, let alone what they regard as an obscene sum of two and a half million dollars. The state government says it's made the right decision based off legal advice. Two ministers leaping to Mr Keogh's defence. Committee, or are you going to read out other parts of the evidence? No, from I, I, the I think try. Yeah. What is this about? Yeah. There's no point in Mr. Yeah. The lawyer for Miss Cheney's family says they do not want a coronial inquest into her death and are still hoping for a retrial.